In the last episode of our battle against the Empire of the Ants, we had to take apart the lens assembly of a cannon power shot SX 520HS. After much head scratching I think we can try to show how to reassemble the afocal part of the lens, that is, the first four lens elements driven by the barrel cam. It is by far the most complicated mechanism of the whole camera. This is the barrel cam and here is one of the three points of entry separated by an angle of 120 degrees into which go the followers of the second lens element and also of the inner cylinder. They share the same grooves. The final part of the groove profile is reserved for the second lens element. The first part is for the inner cylinder followers, which are those three steel balls we saw before. Since this is a last and first out system, the second lens element has to get in first. The thing is that the second lens element also uses the inner cylinder slots as a guide for its followers. So it is necessary to slide it first into the inner cylinder like that, with the widest leg aligned with the flat cable. Now you take the barrel cam and locate the rectangular hole on its side. Align it with the flat cable then turn it clockwise until the first circular hole is aligned with the flat cable. Now you turn the second element clockwise, or to the right, until you find the first groove entrance. Carefully slide the second element follower into the groove entrance. Now turn it counterclockwise. Notice that the steel balls of the inner cylinder are held in place by the silicone grease. Now you turn the barrel cam counterclockwise until you see the rectangular hole aligned with the flat cable again. When this happens the steel ball will be almost in front of the groove entrance. You now slide the inner cylinder until the ball is inside the groove entrance. You keep turning the barrel cam counterclockwise a little bit and you will see two pin receptacles aligned with the rectangular hole. When you do this the other pin receptacles get also aligned with their respective holes. This is one of the pins that go in there. And there they are. But because I have to install the other pins, I will cover these with this masking tape to prevent them from falling out. These pins are made of unobtainium. So it is not a good idea to lose them. Now I need to reinstall the springs for the two pins of the round holes. I use a rigid wire to guide the spring into the receptacle. Wiggle, 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 and there you have it. After the pins are in place it is necessary to depress them with a tool like this screwdriver so that you can overcome the force of the springs. While you do this you turn the barrel cam a little bit so that they get into their grooves. You keep turning the inner cylinder counterclockwise until you feel a resistance to move any further. This means that the followers of the second lens element have reached the end of the first part of their groove profiles that are intended for the inner cylinder. If you press the second element down, the inner cylinder is going to turn a little bit clockwise. You do that for half a centimeter or so until you feel again a resistance to go further. Now if you turn the inner cylinder counterclockwise, the followers of the second element will engage in the part of the groove intended for them. Keep turning until the end of the way like that. Now you reinstall the plastic ring. These are the cam followers for the barrel cam itself. Together with the steel balls, they give axial stability to the barrel cam. And there we are. You need to follow exactly that order if you want to reassemble the lens, and obviously the reverse order to dismantle it. Now we do not need these pieces of masking tape anymore, because the plastic ring limits the excursion of the barrel cam thus preventing it from exposing the pins through the holes. Now we are ready to reinstall the first element. After that we need to clean the focusing lens and the sensor. Thanks for watching. Have a good night and stay beautiful.